just hit export on the final build of the last vlog with the 3018 CNC and the Apollo Disky, and ah, oh, I'm so happy with it. Really enjoying that format. The vlog style just works for these update videos in between tutorials, at least really works for me, and I enjoy making them. So let me know what you guys think down below. Not the way I wanted to spend my week, but we have a new PC in the house. This is going to replace my editing PC, which is rapidly failing. This will be probably the most powerful PC I've ever owned. Not a good time to be replacing PCs. I've been limping that one along since Corona started and too bad for me, but well, this was pretty good for the price, I guess. If you don't have a bunch of these metric inserts in your tool pile or your goodies pile, you should get some. These brass inserts are just wonderful to melt into 3D prints. And today we're gonna melt them into these and use them for the handles on the 3018 CNC. M3 screws and you're away to the races. And just like that, we have two all set. One went really well, the other went a little bit less well, but we have M3 down through the center and we can now rotate these. Handy dandy, happy with that. One of the next chores for the Apollo AGC Disky display is to make a circuit board so we can have the LED enunciators through here. But here's the, the panel open in Fusion 360, and I can't seem to export this in any usable way without a license to bring it into either KiCad or Inkscape or whatever. I brought it into In Inkscape, but I seem to be having troubles making it work. So what I think I'll do is just make a PCB and just move ahead and just measure it with my verniers that are the dimensions from the CAD and just build it and then cut it out. decided to reprint the keys for the disky project and holy smokes am I ever glad I did. These just came out so much better with Prusa Slicer. I am really, really, really impressed with this slicer. And uh, of course the i3 does a great job. I kind of like that I've been able to take my time with this CNC project and sort of bring everything together bit by bit. The live streams are pretty fun too. These will go on the axes so we can roll things in and out and back and forth by hand instead of having to use the PC or the jog buttons all the time. Done. That makes it super, super easy to move the bed around and both just work just awesome. Not bad for 3D printed and a little bit of wire loom just to make things a little bit more durable. She's done, looks like a winner. Okay, way more time than I care to admit, but I was able to bring the model into Inkscape, just the front bezel area, so I can use that to design my circuit board. I went into KiCad, designed the circuit for the LEDs. The Arduino Nano just fires the LEDs. We're just gonna have 15 milliamps a piece, 10 of them, no problem. From there, I was able to bring it in as a user layer in KiCad, and that gives me the ability to design the PCB exactly how the layout's gonna be from the DXF. How cool is that? Because I didn't want to go back into CAD, I just printed it out and put it in the actual model. And here you can see the light through the back where the connectors are going to go through back here. And then simply this sits inside. We'll put some mounts into the base of it and there's where our LEDs are gonna fire through. How cool is that? So this is gonna get fabbed up by PCB way. I just have to route the board and copper clad and do some cool silk screen. PCB way has a deal right now where you can get kind of a higher quality board for a cheaper price. You can always find the deals in the top header here and cycle through them using the arrow. See if there's something that interests you. And right now is the TG-130 up to the TG-150s for free. So this is just done for you automatically on your order. And we'll go with them <laughs> if I don't destroy everything first. <laughs> 
And this is what our board will look like. Pretty simple. I think we'll go with JST connectors on the back and we'll do some cool silk screening and stuff to make it look kind of nice. Really happy with this. Same as I showed before in a previous video, I print out my PCBs and make sure that my connectors are actually going to work and make sure I have the right footprints. In this case I do, but you guys tell me, what's so special about a six pin JST? I have all kinds, except for six. I have up to five and going online, six pin, wow, they are way more rare and way more expensive. Did I miss something? Half fast tempted to redesign this with a smaller connector, but I think we'll get some. Check out this cool toy. Maker Fabs comes through again. This is the new Capacitive Touch ESP32 display from Maker Fabs. And check this out. Even comes with an SD card. That's pretty cool. Should be ESP32 on board. Bunch of functionality. Yeah, USB C. And we're going to give this a go. I think these are going to be kind of fun to make into a cool projects. But so what I'm envisioning, maybe we can use Brian Locke's library and have our YouTube chat just display it on a, a separate display here on the bench. That'd be kind of fun. Fun new toy. This is a nice touch right out of the box. It actually came programmed and it looks awesome. I love the color. This is with the screen protector still in place. Wicked cool. 